When patients come in wanting a laser treatment, our first step is getting them on the right medical grade skincare to prep their skin for the laser treatment. Generally speaking, this looks like getting somebody on a skincare regimen that helps to exfoliate the skin in order to get better outcomes with the laser. Most of our patients get on some sort of vitamin C to get on antioxidants that protect their skin from the environment, a glycolic acid to help exfoliate and digest dead skin, and a hydroquinone. And this is what really helps because it suppresses the melanocytes in order to prevent hyperpigmentation due to the laser. Anytime we introduce heat to the skin, there's always inflammation, and inflammation can create pigmentation in the skin. So if we pre-treat the skin with hydroquinone, we're suppressing those melanocytes, which makes it safer to treat the skin with a laser. Generally, we like to prep their skin with some sort of abrasive facial. My pick is usually salt facial, and this is because it creates a really clean surface to do the laser treatment on top of. I always use the analogy, if you were going to paint something, you'd want to sand it down first, you'd want to prime it. This is the same concept. It's always good to get rid of all of the surface debris, all of the keratinized skin, all of the buildup, all of the dead skin that's trapped in the pores so that we get a more therapeutic outcome from the laser treatment. For most skin types, especially people who have darker skin tones, it's always a good idea to pre-treat the skin with a peel called Enlighten. Now this is a product that contains a high dose of hydroquinone and retinol. And the reason we like to do this is because it suppresses the melanocytes. That's the area in the skin that creates pigment. So we slow down the production of melanin, we increase the cellular turnover with a high dose of retinol, and then that evens out the skin. This is like the insurance that we're not gonna hyperpigment with a laser because we've already shut off the melanocytes and getting rid of all of the dead skin cells is only going to make the laser treatment more therapeutic. We're big fans of including microneedling with PRP to our laser treatments. And the reason why is because the skin is open and ready to accept the PRP. PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma, and this is like the power healing cells. It's the white blood cells in the body. This helps speed up the downtime, making the recovery a lot more tolerable. It also helps to activate more collagen production in the skin. Post laser, we like to send our patients home with a little vial of their PRP. We recommend using it within four hours of getting home and we send them home with a hydrating gel mask. This locks in the PRP, helps with inflammation and also speeds up the downtime. Red light therapy is another one of our secret weapons and we like to send all of our patients home with a light stem handheld device. This is really good for pain, it helps with inflammation and it also speeds up the recovery time. 